know. The Fountain of Youth could be here, in this village, where people routinely live into their 90s, never sick a day in their lives. Cancer, Alzheimer's, even wrinkles are rare, and no one seems to worry about their health. What's their secret? Mm, it tastes like a bamboo shoot. Not bad. But can you get the same benefits in a pill? Connie Chung with Secrets from the Village of Long Life. Imagine this. You can live a healthy, vital, energetic life well past the age of 100. How close are we? Well, science is close to giving a second century of life to everyone through everything from radical cutting-edge technology to simple changes in how you eat. And Dr. Mehmet Oz, the Oprah Show health expert, is going to be doing a full episode with her on this revolutionary topic tomorrow. But he sat with us right here and is giving us a sneak peek. It's a little known fact that Dr. Mehmet Oz is actually 180 years old, <laughs> but he is here today to tell us. <laughs> now, eternal youth. Is it in a cage around the corner? News tonight of a breakthrough for some pioneering mice. But we always wonder, what does a fountain of youth for rodents reveal for humans? Here's Sharon Alfonsi reporting. But now, researchers have found a way not just to stop, but reverse the aging process. The key is something called a telomere. We all have them. They're the tips or caps of your chromosome, seen here in yellow. This is what it looks like in a young adult. But as you grow older, the telomeres become damaged and frayed. And as they stop working, we start aging, experiencing things like hearing and memory loss. 17 years ago, 60 Minutes first examined the so-called French paradox which suggested that the French, despite a high-fat diet and high consumption of wine, had a remarkably low incidence of heart disease compared with Americans. Now scientists across the country have identified a substance in red wine called resveratrol that they believe might do more than just protect the heart, but could, in very high concentrations, significantly extend life by preventing a number of age-related illnesses. Nope. Nope. Hey, good morning, folks. My name is Greg Arnold, and I'd like to welcome you to the Health Hero Network health and fitness show called Alternatives. For those of you who are not familiar with this program, please allow me to briefly explain. The folks at the Health Hero Network have assembled an amazing collection of fact-based editorial and video on safe, effective alternatives to prescription medications. Now, we've assembled, or the Health Hero Network has assembled reports and brief documentaries from all the major news stations, including ABC, like Dateline, CBS, 60 Minutes, Fox, CNN. Now, if you've missed uh, we're tuned in late on any particular segment of this television show, and you're interested in what, it, uh, what you can find out about whatever the subject matter is, you can find a replay of that entire segment on www.keepusyoung.com, which you can see right here at the bottom of the screen, or at www.powermeanplus.com. That's really designed for the men. Now, once you're on one of these sites, you'll see red names below. Now, if you're watching on the internet right now, you'll see these red names down here. Uh, and this is your navigation bar. Those, those names uh, are, are related to the disease and or the disorder that uh, the video and or the editorial are gonna be covering. Now, simply determine which health issue you wanna learn about, left click on it, and, and please don't forget to turn on your audio. All of the reports feature experts explaining and demonstrating excellent ways to supplement your body and replenish your cells. For example, most people don't know that after the age of 25, 25 years old, we cannot obtain enough nutrients, enzymes, and vitamins 
necessary to feed our bodies at the cellular level from a normal diet. Therefore, a regimen of supplements are needed in order to maintain cellular vitality. And therein begin the problems. The open can of worms, so to speak. You know, the questions have come up. Uh, what do we take? Uh, what does that stuff do? Uh, does it help with aches and pains? Will it help my memory? Uh, do I have to take, take, uh, keep track of 40 or 50 pills every day and take them one at one and one at nine, so on and so forth? What can I take in order to get my energy back? You know, all, just a myriad of questions. And your doctor doesn't have time to go over all that with you. He's going to say, take two aspirins over here. Let me write your prescription for Prozac and go at home. Now, if you don't know the answers to the questions above, it might be a very good idea for you to take a minute and write down this website on the bottom of the screen, right here, uh, www.keepusyoung.com and powermeanplus.com. You can go to them 24-7, do the same thing, go to those red letter, red titles below, click on what you want to learn about. I mean, you've got things on there about the inherent problems with statin drugs and memory loss. You have things on there about the, the new fountain of youth, hyaluronic acid, that was a huge special, uh, well-received uh, with Dayline with Connie Chung. Now, I want to emphasize something here, folks. I'm not a physician, and I'm not a nutritionist. I got involved with the Health Hero Network after learning and experiencing the physiological power of natural supplementation in conjunction with mainstream medical practice when I went into kidney failure and was placed on a, on a dialysis machine. And to make matters worse, while on that machine and getting MRIs uh, done, Johns Hopkins found that I had an abdominal aneurysm. Now, after three months on the Mackenzie Walzer Hopkins diet, I was taken off dialysis, my kidneys came back. 115 million odds is, is what, the, what the odds were. No, no operation, no surgery. After two years of staying on that Hopkins diet and taking that formula, uh, I, was, I was able to take another MRI with contrast. And for those of you out there who don't realize what that means, it would give you iodine, and that iodine is very hard on your kidneys. So until my kidneys were strong enough, they couldn't do it. It took two years. So when I had that done, they found out that my aneurysm had completely healed itself. Now that's one in 20 million shot. No stints, no surgery, just staying on that Hopkins diet that was invented by uh, Dr. Mackenzie Walzer. And... Um, it, it works. So right now we have put together, or the Health Hero Network has put together uh, um, a, a, a combination, a collection, so to speak, of pharmaceutical grade amino acids, enzymes, B vitamins, and minerals. Now, the only thing that I can attribute these amazing recoveries to is, is exercise and the continuation of drinking a collection of pharmaceutical grade amino acids, enzymes, B vitamins, and minerals. And by the way, everything I just uh, told you is a matter of medical records at Johns Hopkins Hospital and the DeVita Dialysis Center. Up first today, folks, is an ABC Dateline report by Connie Chung on a natural acid that has been approved by the FDA for use on everything from eye surgery to joint therapy. This is some pretty amazing stuff, and uh, they even actually refer to it as could it be the fountain of youth. What do you see this place, this village she visits in, uh, I think it's in Japan, and uh, people living 100 years old, some of them smoking since they were 20 years old, or smoking for 80 years. Cancer and disease is uh, really not even heard of in, in this particular village. Check this out. So how would you like to be 100 years old without any aches or pains, without disease or without any sign of dementia? Sounds pretty good. And believe it or not, there is a place where that might be possible. Connie Chung has found it and went to pay a visit. This is Yuzurihara, Japan, a small mountainous village two hours outside of Tokyo. Hidden in these hills may just be the secret to a long, healthy life. Tadano Takahashi believes he knows the secret. And who could argue with him? After all, he's 93 years old. 
At this village karaoke party, there are plenty more who believe in this secret. Yuzuri Hara is a place where 90-year-olds are practically commonplace, and where more than 10% of the population is 85 or older. That's 10 times our national norm. What is not common is disease. Cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's are virtually unheard of here. Do you ever remember being sick? No, I do not. Mr. Takashi, I can't help but notice that you're smoking. How long have you been smoking? I've been smoking since I was 25. Mr. Takahashi, has anyone said to you you really ought to quit smoking? No one has told me that. Even the doctors have no reason to tell me to stop smoking because I've never had anything wrong with my lungs. And Mr. Takahashi is not alone. His neighbor goes through a pack and a half a day. I've been smoking for 60 years. I've never even thought about quitting. A local doctor who still practices is 80, as is the local innkeeper, but neither look or act like senior citizens. Nor do these ball players. The average age of this group is 82. This village may look like just an average Japanese town, but some medical researchers believe it may actually hold the key to the fountain of youth. They discovered that people here routinely live into their 90s and beyond, rarely have any reason to go see a doctor, and somehow have managed to prevent even their skin from aging. What's behind this secret phenomenon? Is it something in the villagers' genes? Or maybe it's the low-stress lifestyle here? Japanese researchers think it's more than that. They believe the longevity here is tied to potatoes. Potatoes? Unlike most parts of Japan, where rice is the staple of the diet, potatoes rule here. Generations ago, villagers discovered they were easier to plant in the hilly terrain. And this doctor thinks they are the key to longevity here. His name is Toyosuke Komori, and for 60 years he studied the people in Yuzuri Hara. He himself adopted the local diet, which consists of very little meat, but a lot of homegrown sticky starches and vegetables. I feel very strongly that if I had not come here to Yuzurihara, I would not have lived this long and healthy a life. I probably would have died from some adult disease. It is Dr. Komori's theory that what the villagers eat gives them an abundance of a substance called hyaluronic acid, more than most of us have in our bodies. HA, as it is called, is something we're all born with but lose as we get older. In our bodies, HA enables cells to retain moisture, it keeps our joints lubricated and our skin smooth and elastic. The same qualities Dr. Komori finds in these spry, smooth-skinned villagers. I have never seen anyone suffer from skin cancer here. I have seen a woman in her 90s with a spotless skin. Mr. Takahashi attributes his smooth skin, even after working 50 years in the sun, to sticking to the local traditional diet. The skin on his arms felt like a baby's and the skin on his legs barely had a wrinkle. Some of what Mr. Takahashi eats is on the menu every day at a hotel in Yuzuri Hara. The innkeeper, Mrs. Ishii, is 80 and looks pretty good herself. She offers us a variety of local vegetables and starches that are the backbone of the diet here. Obviously, all of us want to know what this food tastes like, right? Well, here it goes. Uh, this is the sticky potato. Tastes like a normal potato, a little bland though. This is a root vegetable that's made into a jelly, dipping it in soy sauce. Oh, that's awful. This is miso, it's a soybean paste. Mmm, very pungent. I don't think you'd like this. So the question is if this is the ticket to longevity, would you eat it every day? I don't think so. To get around that, one of Japan's leading pharmaceutical companies is trying to say it doesn't take a village to live longer. They are putting HA in pills, which in Japan sell for about $25 for a month's supply. The company tested the pills on a thousand people. Roughly half reported smoother skin, less fatigue, and better eyesight. But we kept asking ourselves, just how real is this? 
So we traveled to Great Britain, where HA experts, respected scientists and physicians from 23 countries gathered to discuss the marvels of HA. Western medicine is just beginning to understand the full potential of HA. For years, HA has been used in eye surgery as a shock absorber to protect the retina. In a gel form, HA has proven effective in lubricating arthritic joints. And its ability to restore moisture and elasticity to tissues is a big reason why cosmetic companies have put HA in moisturizers for years. But these scientists believe that the most dramatic discoveries of HA's healing powers are just around the corner. Discussions here focused on HA's ability to regenerate the cells in our bodies. Here in the United States, doctors have been giving hyaluronic acid to patients since 1997. But the HA is not in a pill. It's in a syringe. The FDA-approved product is called Synvisc. So we're going to do the left knee. Dr. David Altchek, a leading orthopedic surgeon, says in some cases, the HA injections have delayed the need for patients to undergo radical knee replacement surgery. You're going to feel a pinch and then pressure. The results can be astonishing in terms of reducing the symptoms, improving their quality of life. At the New Jersey firm, Biometrics, HA is extracted from, are you ready for this? Chicken combs. Strangely, the mohawk crown on a chicken's head is chock full of hyaluronic acid. The combs are washed, sliced, and purified in an extremely sterile environment. But if you doubt that it's the diet keeping these Japanese villagers young, consider this. Since Western-style junk food infiltrated Yuzurihara a few years ago, heart disease here has doubled, creating what the Japanese call the upside-down death pyramid, in which adults die before their parents. 91-year-old Fuji Shiratori has outlived two of her six children. Although my children ate what I had been eating while they were young and lived here, but when they moved away, they chose to eat differently. The stone tablet at the entrance to Yuzurihara proclaims it to be the village of long life. It would be impossible to conclude that the phenomenon here is just a matter of diet alone. The elderly here follow a time-honored blueprint for good health. Exercise, low stress, and a healthy diet. An overall lifestyle that cannot be bottled. But if someday it can be proven that their longevity is a result of an abundance of HA in their system, well, maybe, just maybe, there's hope for the rest of us. I assume that I should have come here when I was a teenager to start eating the diet in order to enjoy the fountain of youth that you're enjoying. Is that correct? No, it's not too late. Therefore, if you practice the secret you learn here, I'm sure that you could live a very long time. <laughs>